Red Dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. <laughs> Ooh. Birdwell Island Fair, isn't it fantastic? Uh-huh. Just smell all that delicious food. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of popcorn in the morning. Hey, guys. Just remember our people food rule. If it drops on the ground or it's headed that way, it belongs to the dogs and that's okay. Wow, Mrs. Bleakman, that's quite a cookie you baked. Oh, I didn't bake this. Mr. Bleakman made it all by himself. It's the biggest cookie I've ever seen at the Birdwell Fair. It's a beauty, isn't it? It looks like a prize winner to me. How about a picture, Mr. Bleakman? Cookie and cook. Why, sure. I can't wait to see everyone's face when you uncover this treat at the end of the day. I know I'll be there. We'll see you then, folks. Bye. Thanks for your help. Now, what do you say I go win you a big stuffed teddy bear, Violet? Ooh, that would be wonderful, Horace. But shouldn't someone stay here and watch your cookie? Don't worry, Violet. It'll be just fine. Wait a minute. Do you guys smell that? Uh-huh. I sure do. Mmm-mm. Scrum dum delicious. Let's go see what it is. It's coming 
from in there. Just my size. But it's not on the ground. And it's not headed that way. So, so it's, it's not, not for the dogs, dogs and it's not okay. Uh-oh. I have a feeling we should get out of here. Right. Let's go. <clears throat> Clifford, let's go. Oh, now, come on, big guy. Ugh. I think Clifford has a giant cookie craving. Well, it's the first time he's ever seen a cookie his size. We have to help him forget about that tree. Oh, oh, sorry, guys. You've just got to get your mind off that cookie. I'm trying, Cleo, but everywhere I look, all I see is that big, sweet, delicious cookie. Clifford, come back. Wait for us. Are you okay, Clifford? Uh-huh. I'm okay. Poor guy. He has a really bad case of cookie-itis. Maybe if I just had one little lick, I wouldn't want any more. I know I can't eat it, and I won't. I just want to look at it. And one little sniff couldn't hurt. Clifford! <gasps> wow! A piece of the cookie is on the ground! It was an accident. Well, you know the people food rule. If it's on the ground... Or headed that way... It belongs to the dogs... And that's, and that's okay. okay! That is the rule. So let's eat, guys. You go ahead, Clifford. You can have it. Really? It's all yours, big guy. <clears throat> that was so good. Gee. He looks kind of lopsided now. It sure does. Hey, I know. How about we eat all the way around the cookie and even it out? That way no one will notice the piece is missing. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. Okay, everyone. Let's eat. There. All done. No one will ever know a piece is missing. Oh, it was a tough job, but it had to be done. And we were just the dogs to do it. Uh-huh, but I'm kind of glad we're done. I'm so full I couldn't eat another bite. Uh, I, me neither. Uh, guys? Doesn't it still look a little lopsided? Well, maybe a little. <sighs> uh-huh. I guess we'll have to eat some more to even it out. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to see the biggest oatmeal raisin cookie you've ever seen. A real Clifford-sized confection. 
<laughs> He's right about that. Just wait until Clifford sees it. Sheriff Lewis, reveal my culinary wonder. But you can't really blame him, can you? What? Well, you made such a delicious smelling, yummy looking, crunchy sounding, scrum dum delicious cookie. How could the poor dog resist? Oh, it was a beautiful cookie, wasn't it? Oh, Mr. Bleakman, I'm so sorry Clifford ate your cookie. And I know Clifford is very sorry, too. Well, it was a pretty remarkable cookie. I guess I can't really blame him for not being able to resist it. After all, everyone makes mistakes sometimes. <laughs> Including leaving too big of a temptation in front of a very large dog. <laughs> 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 Story, don't you? Woof, woof. <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and his very own book. One day, Speckle was reading one of his favorite books. He was enjoying it so much, he decided to write a book of his own. So he sat down at his desk and he began to write. In Speckle's story, Darnell finds an amazing treasure map. He asks Reba, Luna, and Ravi to join him on an adventure to find the treasure. Following the map, they made their way through a dark and mysterious jungle and opened the secret entrance to an ancient cave where they discovered the treasure that was to be shared by all. When Speckle was finished writing his book, there was still more fun to be had. Because Reba, Luna, Ravi, and Darnell were eager to hear the story that Speckle had written all about them. A story that was a true treasure. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? Woof. told me that she has to go to Birdwell Island for a business trip next Tuesday. And she said I can come along and spend the whole day with you! Yes! My pen pal Monique is coming to visit tomorrow. Oh, it's just gonna be the best day ever. I'm gonna make sure it's perfect. I better start planning now. Thanks, Baz. This one's ready for testing. Okay, Clifford, time for takeoff! <laughs> All right! Yay! Yeah! It's flying! <laughs> hey! Oh? Sorry, Jetta. We were just testing a new kite I made. You're making kites? 
Uh-huh. And tomorrow we're gonna fly them together. Wanna make one? No, thank you. I have to take these groceries home and do about a million other things to get ready for when my friend Monique comes to visit tomorrow. Monique? Your pen pal from the mainland? That's great, Jetta! Maybe you guys would like to fly kites with us. Oh, no, Emily Elizabeth. She'll only be here for a few hours, and I've already planned our schedule. <gasps> it's gonna be great! First, we'll hunt for seashells. Then have lunch at the lighthouse. Then ride bikes and rollerblades. Mm -hmm. Clifford? Mm. I'm making a picnic lunch all by myself. Peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Monique's favorite. But... Um, isn't that a lot to do in just a few hours? Not as long as we stay on schedule. This timer will help us stay on time. <laughs> that sure is loud. It has to be. It's going to let us know when it's time to move on to the next activity. Oh, gotta go or I'll never be ready for tomorrow. Bye! The ferry is right on time. Jetta! Monique! It's, it's so, so good, good to see, see you! you. <laughs> okay, you two. Have a good time while I'm at my meeting. But make sure you're back here for the 4 o'clock ferry, Monique. Don't worry, Mrs. Trumbull. I have the entire day completely scheduled. Okay, then I'll see you back here at 4 sharp. A schedule? Wow, you're so organized, Jetta. What do we do first? Well, for our first activity, we're going to the beach to look for seashells. I've set my timer so we'll know exactly how much time we have before our next activity. <gasps> Jetta! What's that? Huh? Clifford. Woof, woof. What an absolutely amazing dog! Thanks. I think he's pretty special, too. You must be Emily Elizabeth. Jetta wrote to me about you. And Clifford, he's even bigger and redder than I thought he'd be. Uh huh, he's big, he's red, we're late, gotta go. Timer is ticking. I see you, Emily Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! We're running behind schedule! We should be halfway to Seashell Cove by now! Woof! Don't worry, Clifford will take you there! Really? I'd love that! I don't know... It might help you get back on schedule! Right! Let's go! Thanks, Emily Elizabeth! Woof! Absolutely amazing! And it's the best place on the whole island to find seashells. Let's go! Whee! Come on, Monique, it's fun! Well, okay. Here I come. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Whee! <laughs> that was great! See you guys! Happy shell hunting! <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Clifford! Let me check my timer. Yes, we're back on schedule. Let's hurry and find some seashells. Will you see them all? There's some really big ones here. I don't think you're gonna find any big ones today, Jetta. Oh, hi guys. Monique, this is Charlie and Baz. Guys, this is my pen pal, Monique. Nice to meet you, Monique. I don't think you'll be able to find any shells today. We've been looking all morning and haven't found a single one. But they have to be here. This is our planned activity for the next 23 minutes. Maybe the shells have a schedule of their own. Or maybe you just don't know the right places to look. Like I do. Well, good luck. Sometimes you have to dig for the really good ones. I'm sure we'll find one soon.
<laughs> you didn't find any seashells, but you did find the sea. Get him! <laughs> hey! Huh? Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> Got you! <laughs> Is still okay. We need it to stay on schedule. What about lunch, Jetta? How about some fish and chips, Jamaican style? What do you think, Monique? These are the best fish and chips I've ever had, Charlie. Thanks. But we were supposed to have peanut butter and banana sandwiches. That's your favorite. That's okay, Jetta. This is great. Last time's over. Come on, Monique, we better hurry. It's bike riding time. Thanks for lunch, Charlie. See you later, guys. I can't believe I got a flat tire. Well, things like this happen sometimes, Jetta. Hey! Come back here with my timer! <laughs> no! My timer! <laughs> this was definitely not part of the plan. Well, maybe there's something else we can do here, Jetta. There's nothing to do here. Absolutely nothing. Look! Someone's flying a kite. Oh, right. Some of my friends were making kites yesterday. They must be flying them today. Let's go see. But wait, Monique. Kite flying isn't on the schedule. Well, I guess we're going kite flying. Oh, <laughs> oh I see. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's almost four o'clock! Oh no! I'm gonna miss the ferry! Not if you take the Clipper and Express! <laughs> Monique, I'm sorry things got messed up and we didn't get to do everything I'd planned. It's okay, Jetta. I did the most important thing on my list. You did? What was that? I spent an amazing day with you. It didn't matter what we did, just as long as we did it together. Oh, thanks, Monique. Wow, I, I had a pretty amazing day, too. Bye! I'll write soon. Me, too! Bye. I'm sorry you didn't get to do everything on your list, Jetta. You know, Emily Elizabeth, you don't always have to stick to a plan. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow, like I do. I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Hedgehog toy, but you sure are a great toy. Hi, Cleo. Cleo, you found my bunny squeak toy. Uh, Mrs. Diller just uh, bought this toy for me. Oh. Sometimes it seems like making up a story will make things turn out the way we want them to. Um. I don't really feel like playing right now, guys. But most of the time, it's a much better idea to just tell the mm -hmm. truth. T-Bone, wait. 
This is your bunny squeak toy, T-Bone. But you said Mrs. Diller just bought it for you. I made that up. The toy belongs to you. Thanks, Cleo! Telling the truth isn't always easy, but it is always the right thing to do. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. Island Fair. Isn't it fantastic? Uh-huh. Just smell all that delicious food. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of popcorn in the morning. Hey, guys. Just remember our people food rule. If it drops on the ground or it's headed that way, it belongs to the dogs and that's okay. Bleakman, that's quite a cookie you baked. Oh, I didn't bake this. Mr. Bleakman made it all by himself. It's the biggest cookie I've ever seen at the Birdwell Fair. It's a beauty, isn't it? It looks like a prize winner to me. How about a picture, Mr. Bleakman? Cookie and cook. Why, sure. I can't wait to see everyone's face when you uncover this treat at the end of the day. 
I know I'll be there. We'll see you then, folks. Bye. Thanks for your help. Now, what do you say I go win you a big stuffed teddy bear, Violet? Ooh, that would be wonderful, Horace. But shouldn't someone stay here and watch your cookie? Don't worry, Violet. It'll be just fine. Wait a minute. Do you guys smell that? Uh-huh. I sure do. Mmm-mm. Scrum dum delicious. Let's go see what it is. It's coming from in there. Just my size. But it's not on the ground. And it's not headed that way. So it's not for the dog and it's not okay. Uh-oh, I have a feeling we should get out of here. Right, let's go. <clears throat> Clifford, let's go. Oh, now, come on, big guy. Ugh. I think Clifford has a giant cookie craving. Well, it's the first time he's ever seen a cookie his size. We have to help him forget about that tree. Oh, oh, sorry, guys. You've just got to get your mind off that cookie. I'm trying, Cleo, but everywhere I look, all I see is that big, sweet, delicious cookie. Clifford, come back. Wait for us. Are you okay, Clifford? Uh-huh, I'm okay. Poor guy. He has a really bad case of cookie-itis. Maybe if I just had one little lick, I wouldn't want any more. I know I can't eat it, and I won't. I just 